Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Dog & Bone Lock Smart. Now this is a keyless Bluetooth padlock. Shout out to everybody who watched my videos. You see me review the Lock Smart Mini last week. This is so hot. And I told y'all during that video, once I get the full size version, we're gonna make another one. So here we go, hashtag another one. First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Go to dogandbonecases.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. Now the Locksmart comes in two different versions. You got the Locksmart Mini, that one's gonna run you $69.95, 70 bucks. And you got the full size Locksmart, that one's gonna run you $89.95. So you're looking at 90 bucks. All right, so let's check this one out real quick. Nice looking presentation. We'll go through the features real quick. This is keyless for bikes, lockers, sheds, gates, fences, and more. All you need is your smartphone. So that means no more keys, no more combinations. All you're gonna need is your phone and you can unlock the lock. Now you have shared access. One lock, multiple users, define user access. So what that means is when you go to work and you lock your locker, now if somebody needs to go in that locker while you're not there, you can share them the access and then they can unlock it theirself. Now you also have tracking so you can know when and who has opened the lock. So once you share the access with somebody else, now you can keep track of how many times they opening up that lock. Now this lock is secure. You got a 128-bit advanced encryption, the highest Bluetooth security standard, plus a 256-bit cloud-generated private key for added security. Okay, now this is long-lasting and rechargeable, up to two years before recharging, and you also get recharge prompts. So what that means is once you fully charge this up, I'll show you how to use the sleep feature. This lock is gonna be good for up to two years. Now, with the recharge prompts, that means that one day you're not gonna wake up and go to unlock your lock and your lock is gonna be dead. No, when your lock gets to about 10%, you're gonna start getting alerts on your phone letting you know you need to recharge it. So that's kinda dope. This is tough, stainless steel shackle, die cast, three zinc aluminum body. Uh, you got weatherproof, rain, hail, snow, or shine from temperatures negative 20 degrees Celsius up to positive 70 degrees Celsius. All right, so you're good in all the temperatures in the regular world. <laughs> all right, so let's pop this open and see what it looks like. Now, the app is available for Android and iOS, so you should be good. Shout out to anybody who's still rocking Windows phones. Time to step your game up. All right, here we go. Okay, download the app, pull out your barcode scanner, and just scan this right here, or you could just search for Dog and Bone. Now, shout out to last time I got trolled. I thought these was uh, <laughs> batteries. These are just magnets to keep that little flap inside closed. All right, so you ain't gonna need those. And here goes your micro USB charger. This is how you're gonna charge the lockup. Now, I will tell you this, using from uh, speaking from experience, I charged this up the day I got it, and it's still on 95% been using it basically every day and it's on 95 percent so i could definitely believe that this is going to last for about two years now this one right here let's compare it real quick to the lock smart mini yeah this one is twice as heavy and if you look it's a little bit thicker but twice as heavy okay now on the bottom since this is weatherproof you're going to have to open this little flap right here there's your micro usb charging port that's how you charge the lockup and that's a little power button right there you see, when I pressed it, you got that little LED. Little LED blinking right there. And that's pretty much it. Nice construction on this, feels super heavyweight. Now let me pull up the lock real quick and we'll pair this up. Now one thing I do wanna mention, well, matter of fact, we'll go over that at the end of the video. A lot of people was asking, what about if you lose your phone? What about if the battery dies? We'll cover that stuff in a minute. All right, so let's go to LockSmart real quick. Now you see I got my mini paired up already. So when I open up the app, let me show you what the app looks like. This is the LockSmart app. Okay, so I got one lock paired up already. So I go to my padlock, hit unlock, pops open just like that. That's kind of dope. So now let's see, let's, let's add another lock. We'll hit this now, let's see. Push the button, hit next. Okay, found the lock. We'll do setup. Pair it up just like that. Okay, so now let's see if this one is paired up. All right, now you see this is a different one. This one is on 32%. Let's hit the button. Just like that. 
This is so dope. Now let's go to the settings real quick. Okay, let's matter of fact, let's see. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Now you could sign out also. One thing I will tell you now, since I already had a lock paired up, that's how I was able to set this one up that easy. But when you first get your lock smart, if you didn't have any locks at all, you're gonna have to set up an account. That's important. Just keep that in the back of your mind. You're gonna have to set up an account and I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. All right, so let's check the settings real quick. Now I can add a photo. Let's add a photo real quick. So this way we'll know which one is which. All right, so let me take a photo of this one. Okay, so now we'll use this photo. Let's wait for it to pop up. All right, so now we got that lock. Now you got different ways you can use access. You could just tap to unlock like I did just now. You can use your touch ID, so you have to use your fingerprint, or you could put a passcode in. Now you also have notifications. All right, so you could uh, set, you know, you, I would advise you to leave these on. You can set it to notify you about the battery level. So you see this one is on 32%. I could take this out and start using it right now without charging it, but I will get a notification when the battery is about to die. And you also could set it to get notifications when it's unlocked by a shared user. So say I share the access to somebody else and they use it, I get a notification every time they use it. And you also have power save mode. Now, I advise you to leave that on if you want your battery to last for two years. What that means is after about 20, 30 seconds, the lock is automatically gonna go into sleep mode. So every time you want to unlock it, you're going to have to come up to it, press the button on the bottom, wake it up, and then unlock it. That's what I use on this lock every day. So when I go to the gym, when I'm ready to unlock my lock, I just walk up to my locker, turn it on, and unlock it, just like that. But this way, you don't have to worry about battery life. Now, you got your serial number, firmware, and your uh, latest version. All right, we don't need that. Activity log, that's if you share it. Now, if you want to share the access, all you have to do is invite a user. And what that's going to do is it's going to send them a link to the app. Okay, so when you share the access, the person has to have an Android or iOS device. You're sharing them basically a link to the app. They're going to have to download the app. They're going to have to set up an account, and then they'll be able to use it. All right, so that's, that's for the share. Now, you see my picture came up on this one, the, the picture I just set up. Hit unlock. Oh, matter of fact, I already had it. <laughs> unlock. Let me lock this real quick. Let's try that one more time. All right, so we, let's try both of them and see how easy this is to have one phone with two different locks. Okay, so now say I'm at work. This got this. I got this lock on my main locker at my desk, and I got this one on the door to my office. So as soon as I get to work, I got my two locks set up. Now you notice I got two different pictures. So I hit the one for my door, popped open the door. Then I come inside, ready to unlock my desk, switch to the next one, pop that open. On a scale of one to 10, this is a major win. All right, this is so dope. Now, real quick, before we get out of here, let me just answer a couple of quick questions. A lot of people was asking me, what happens if your phone battery dies? And um, <laughs> there's a simple solution to that. You just charge the phone. Now look, this is a tech product. If you're not tech savvy, you shouldn't be buying tech products. Just go out and buy a regular key lock, a regular combination lock, and just you know keep it moving. This is a lock right here for people that's into technology. You wanna be more James Bond status, and you gotta be a little tech savvy. Now, if you are tech savvy and you're running around with a cell phone, there's no reason on this earth that you should be walking around with a cell phone that you're paying the bill every month and the phone battery's dead. Why are you doing that? You could get a charger like this. This will run you about 30 bucks. Look how slim this one is. Have this charged up and in your back pocket or in your bag somewhere, and you're never gonna have to worry about that. Now, say the battery happens to die on your phone. Now you're working, you're working out and your battery's dead. All you have to do is pull out your portable charger, plug it into your phone. Soon as your phone turns back on, now you can access the lock. But that's the same as saying, you know what? I want to drive this car to the gym, but what happens if I get there and it runs out of gas? Then you just get gas. But the point is, you shouldn't be driving to the gym if you know, <laughs> if you know your car don't got no gas. And the same thing with this lock. If you turn on your lock and you see it's on 32%, that's cool. But if you turn your lock and you see it's at 5%, then don't use it until you charge it up. This is not rocket science. Now, a lot of people was asking what happens if you lose your phone. Same thing. If you lose your phone, you should be able to remotely wipe your phone. You know, every phone can do that nowadays. But if you don't, even if you don't know how to do all that, when you sign up with LockSmart, all right, when you first get your lock, you're going to have to set up an account. That saves you, so this way now, if you lose your phone, all you gotta do is log on to your LockSmart account and cancel that lock. Then when you get your new phone, you log on, 
and log on to your LockSmart account and pair it back up to your lock. Simple as that. All right, so this is a secure lock. Nobody can just walk up to it and press the button and pair it to their phone and use it. That's not how this works. All right, so this is high tech right here. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this 100% win. I've been using it basically every day in the gym. And just in case you don't believe me, let me just show you real quick. I'll show you a little video of me using it in the gym. All right, now this is a little Instagram video. This is me using it in the gym. How to open your gym. All right, hold on a second. Let me, matter of fact, let me, let me, let me pull it up on the iPad so y'all can see it a little bit bigger. Let me open up the gram real quick. And that sound that this lock makes in the gym is so badass. Look at this. Boss. Oh, you heard, you, you heard that? You, you heard that loud echo? This is so dope. So anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, I'm switching all of my locks. No more combination locks. No more key locks. No more of those locks with the little, the little levers that you gotta you know, put to five, six numbers. All of my locks that I'm using for now on are gonna be lock smarts. So this way when I pull out my phone and I take it to my lock smart app, by the next time I do a, a different video, you'll see I'll have about seven or eight locks on this. This is so hot, no more keys necessary. Anyway, shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where we at. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters. All y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. This is so hot. Let me just try one more time with the big boy. See, now look, you see it's, it's in sleep mode. I just press the button, unsleep it, or wake it up. <laughs> Hit my padlock. Shows me my battery percentage. Everything's ready to go. Hit that button. Just like that. This is so dope. Oh yeah, don't forget. Check out the flossycarterstore.com. Get yourself a badass shirt. We out.